This is kind of an unusual video, and I try to keep it kind of centrist and leave room for uh, you to form your own opinion, basically. But in this circumstance, I had a, a experience actually today, because I was planning to make a video for you guys to show that like maybe the gun control measures here we have in California are already good enough. Uh, so I decide, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna see what the process is and then say, hey, everything's fine. We're doing enough. But they were missing so much stuff on this test. They asked you some standard questions like, hey, uh, where should you put your gun? What should you do with the ammo? And, and so 30 questions, got all 30 right. No part of the process. Was there any sort of like training on what to do about your gun just going and shooting people randomly? The more guns there are, the more likely there is there's gonna be a, a rogue gun that goes and just and mows a bunch of people down. I'm not gonna pretend like I have all the answers or anything like that. But what I will say is something that's very clearly missing from this process is what to do uh, about your gun to make sure that it never goes and just randomly start shooting people. So I think what they need to add to the process is like how to dismantle a gun, put it in a chokehold, put it to sleep, use non-lethal tactics in order to take it down, what areas to stab with a knife if you're trying to, um, if, if you're trying to just basically render it useless. Uh, these kinds of things would be really nice. Like the other thing I was thinking about, I was having this conversation with a friend and one thing that they said is, you have to be careful about how many, how much ammo you feed your gun. So like if you don't feed your dog enough, you're gonna have a really ornery dog. And then let the dog out of a cage, it would go crazy, it would go ballistic, it would be just have blood in its eyes, or blood coming out of its wherever, and it would just destroy everything. Of course, that's the same, the, the analogy of course I'm, I'm talking about is if you take your gun out of the safe after you haven't used it for a while, you've starved it, it's more likely to commit a mass shooting. So you do have to be careful about that. The other thing is you have to be really careful about overfeeding it, because if you overfeed it, it, its cravings become more and more in, uh, insatiable. Like there's nothing, there's nothing you can do to actually to meet its cravings. And like with porn, for example, like porn starts out kind of innocently, you know, Sears catalog, and then you're like uh, watching a movie, and an actress is bouncing on a trampoline. Maybe it only escalates from there, and then 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 you're like, I need video, uh, I need to see the boobs, I, I need all this, and then when you finally get down to it, it just all ramps up. Before you know it. Now you need to watch horse That analogy, of course, is saying if you overfeed your gun, if you give your gun too many bullets, then, then it has blood, like a bloodthirst, and then it'll just go around shooting everybody because its cravings just get too much. There's nothing you can do to stop it. It's like Rambo. Um, but of course, the gun was the issue there, not Rambo himself. So you got to be careful about that. So it would have been nice in this gun safety class if they taught you the, the correct amount of ammo to feed your gun to like not starve it, but not overfeed it and create a, a blood loss horse situation you know so there's there's just a couple things I just feel like we're ignoring that completely a perfectly viable solution on on what we can do to cut down on all the gun violence like let's just start there there's so many things that we could be doing that we're just not doing that's what I learned from taking this this class or this or getting my certification we're missing something when it comes to making sure our guns don't shoot people to making sure that our guns don't go rogue i'm going to do everything possible to make sure that when i when i do buy a gun that my gun is is raised properly is trained properly so that it's never responsible for for anything either i really do feel like there's something that we can be doing and this is a good place to start uh i'm honest bachelor thank you for watching spread this video around share it with your friends like comment subscribe that's it i'll see you guys in another video